Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Mike Thompson. I'm a SolidWorks application engineer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to access the Go Engineer Training VDI. VDI stands for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, and it's a technology that allows you to access a desktop remotely over an internet connection. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, if you sign up for a training course with GoEngineer and you opt to use the Virtual Desktop Infrastructure technology, you will receive from our training team a login URL and your login credentials. So what I'm going to demonstrate for you here today is using our HTML access version of the product. Now the HTML access version allows you to utilize the VDI using only your web browser. So I'm going to log in just by clicking this. I'm going to have a login screen, so I'm going to input my credentials. It's going to log me in. Now, while we're there, we are going to see that we are on the Horizon web application, and it will present to you a list of virtual machines that are available to you. For our purposes, we have the SolidWorks 2022 virtual machine. I'm just going to click that and it will load up. Now, this may look very familiar to you because it is putting us onto a Windows desktop. And we're getting normal Windows desktop notifications. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And right away, I can just launch SolidWorks 2022 by clicking the desktop icon. And it's thinking there. And what I'm going to do is access our training files. Let's say we're taking an essentials course, close out of this window. I'll come to the Windows menu, and I am just going to start typing file for File Explorer. In the File Explorer, I'm going to come over to this PC, and we're going to come over to the T drive under Network Locations. Think of T standing for training. I'm going to click in there. I'll come to our SolidWorks 2022 training files, and here's Essentials. Now you can see that it is a compressed zip folder, so what I'm going to do is right click, and hit Extract All. And now I'm going to hit Browse. Now I'm going to go onto the desktop of this VDI. I'm going to hit OK and hit Extract. And we're going to let the thing do the thing. After a brief wait, you'll see a new file explorer window is opened and it has dropped us onto the desktop. We can drill down on any of these folders and we can see that we have everything here. So I can close out of these windows. And now that I'm back in SolidWorks, I can just hit our open icon. And it has come to a folder I've come to before. So we are in the This PC Desktop Essentials Lesson 1 Case Study. I could choose any of these to open. I'll choose Design Intent 1. I'm going to hit open. This is giving me a notification about PDM, and I'm going to hit no. For PDM courses, you'll receive an additional set of login credentials. And now that we're here, we have a part loaded up and things are looking great. Performance is snappy and smooth, so this may also be a useful option if you are using an older PC. We have all of our Roll back options, you can roll forward, and it is just the normal SolidWorks that you either already know or are about to get to know very well. When you are done, I'm going to close out of this part. I'm going to hit Don't Save since I didn't do any changes, and I can close out of SolidWorks. You'll note that there is this tab over here on the side. I'm going to click this tab, and I'm going to hit this hamburger menu under the Running Virtual Machines. I'm going to hit log off and that will let me log off the desktop. It will tell me that I've been disconnected and now I'm back in horizon and I'm going to hit this other hamburger menu higher up. I'm going to hit log out now that I'm done with my courses and my case studies and exercises for the day. And that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic that you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.